Abercrombie is no longer your early to mid 2000s Abercrombie. They have had such a glow up. I'm so glad you decided to click on my video and hang out with me today. My name is Jessica. I make videos about affordable fashion, beauty, and lifestyle and travel. Today I'm sharing some very awesome Abercrombie finds that I have gotten recently from their winter collection. These are some great classic wardrobe pieces, many of which would also make fantastic gifts. So if you're shopping for anyone, you might want to you know, keep that in mind as you watch today's video. As always, everything I'm gonna share with you will be linked down in the description box. You will also see the product pop up right here on the bottom of the screen. You can now shop uh, certain brands directly from YouTube videos, which is really cool. So uh, you can do it the old school way by going down in the description box, or you can do it the new uh, fun way. This is a pair of pants that I've had for a little while. I have had a pair of the Sloan tailored shorts. I don't know if they're Sloan. I, they're just like tailored shorts. I've had them from Abercrombie for several years now. I've worn them so much since I've gotten them. So I was really excited to get pair of their tailored like long trousers and y'all these are so good so first of all they're extremely comfortable I just find the fabric to be like nice and soft they don't feel restrictive in the waist it just is a nice flowy wide leg I personally have a really hard time finding wide leg trousers that really do look wide leg just because I do have like um, a booty and so sometimes I just think that they don't cut the pants so that like those of us who have a little bit of junk in the trunk uh, can get that fully like wide leg look, but these really do. Um, these are in a regular length, which that is another thing that Abercrombie is doing lately that I absolutely love. Many of their pants, even their coats and dresses, you can get in petite, regular, or long sizes, which I think is amazing. Very much more inclusive of all the different sizes that are out there. I'm 5'7", so regular length in their pants is usually pretty spot on for me. And I will say these hit at just the right place, right above my foot. Um, so that like they don't drag on the floor. They're not too long. They're also not too short. These come in like a bunch of different colors, like tons. Um, and I'm definitely thinking about adding some more to my wardrobe just because I love the cut of these. I think they just look really good, really flattering on. They're high-waisted um, and they just look very classic. I highly recommend if you're on the hunt for a good pair of trousers. It's just a really chic way to sort of replace your jeans every once in a while. Um, but this look I think shows that you can make trousers feel really comfortable and stylish and chic and also casual at the same time. Like they don't have to feel super corporate-y and business -y. Um, if you don't want them to. It's all in how you style them. Also, shout out to this sweater that I'm wearing. It's not from Abercrombie. It is from Quince, um, which is another brand that I love very much. This is a cashmere sweater. It's less than $70 and it's incredible. So if you're looking for really affordable cashmere and silk pieces, you got to check out Quince and stay tuned because I have a new haul coming from them. I have a couple pieces that I'm still waiting to get in, um, but I can't wait because I have some seriously great finds from them. So make sure you subscribe and Stay tuned if you want to learn more about that brand. Here is a sweater that is from Abercrombie. I have to say this cable knit sweater is so incredibly soft. I want to know like what is the fabric breakdown of this because it just feels so good. Uh, it is 59% acrylic and 41% nylon. It has such a soft, fuzzy, cozy feeling to it. Um, and you really cannot go wrong with a good classic cable knit crew neck sweater. They just are staples of the winter time, no matter the year, no matter what the trend is or is not. These just never go out of style. They're always going to be something that you can uh, pull from in your wardrobe. And I think this sweater in particular would make a really great uh, holiday gift idea for anyone on your list because it's a classic sweater. And it's just a really good basic staple piece that people can take and sort of style with their own style and any sort of which way that they see fit. It's a good like blank canvas on which to start an outfit or layer with. It also comes in a, like several different colors. So you've got different options there. This is in fact a small, um, which I was kind of shocked, but it fits very baggy and oversized. As you can see, I mean, it's cut very, very boxy and wide. So I would suggest to probably size down at least one size if you wanted to have a little bit more of a fitted look. But I do kind of like the sort of like baggy, oversized look. It just gives it a little bit more of like a cozy vibe. And again, like it, it's so incredibly soft. Um, um, not itchy at all. I just want to live in this for the rest of the season. So this next piece is absolutely perfect, like literally the perfect dress for any holiday party. It's very beautiful. It's elegant. It is like pretty conservative. So if you need something to wear to like a work party, but you still want to look like 
knockout this dress is absolutely the one y'all i love the one shoulder um all of this pleating in the fabric and then it sort of has this sort of like gathered look to the pleated fabric and then i just movement of the skirt is so nice it looks so luxe a lot more expensive than it is um I have like a different sort of version of this dress that I wore on the cruise last uh, September that was like sort of like the, you know, like cut out version. Um, so of course I wanted to get the one shoulder version and this really rich like wine red color is so beautiful for the holiday season. They also have this in like an emerald green, which I thought was really pretty. And it also comes in a black. If you want just something like classic and black, the black is really nice too. I have to say I got this in a small, which usually that is my size in Abercrombie when they're doing like small, medium, large sizing, because according to them, a small is a four six. Um, but I do feel like this is a little bit snug in the waist and the torso area, not to the point where it's uncomfortable or like I just don't wanna wear it. Um, but I do think maybe the medium would have given me just a slight bit more breathing room. And the fabric does not have like any stretch at all. So just keep that in mind. Do you like you're in a place where you're a little bit between sizes? Maybe consider sizing up a size just to give yourself a little bit of extra space, especially if you have boobs, because um, I think that is part of like the issue for me, though I do like the kind of fact that it is sort of snug because I don't really have to wear a strapless bra with this because it fits pretty tight. I just think this is such a beautiful classic dress. This is also an item that does come in petite, regular and long sizing. So huge shout out to Abercrombie for doing that different sizing. I think it's absolutely incredible. You can never go wrong with a good tailored pea coat. I actually mentioned this coat in my recent 2023 holiday gift guide for women. So if you're still on the hunt for the perfect holiday gift, I'll link that video in the description box and up in the cards. Uh, so you can check that one out next. But I just received this in the mail and I absolutely love this coat. This is the tailored top wool blend top coat. So it is a wool blend coat and the actual fabric breakdown is as follows. So it's 60% polyester, 33% wool, 3% nylon and 2% acrylic and 2% viscose. Let's have a 33% uh, wool uh, situation in there, which is really nice. It feels really, really soft. It comes in several different neutral colors, black, cream, tan. I believe that there's like a checked version. Um, and then Abercrombie also has a very similar coat that's called the Dad Coat, which I think also is a wool blend coat that almost looks just like this one, but it's a little bit different because this one has like just two buttons. That one has three. I also find that the lapel collar of that one is a little bit more shortened. Like it stops like right here. And I really like how this one is more of like an elongated lapel, kind of like a, like a blazer would be. Um, now here's the thing about sizing with this coat. I initially ordered it in a small, tall, because I wanted it to be extra long. I don't usually order tall things with Abercrombie. Now and again, I will, just depending on how I want it to fit, because I am 5'7". I'm at that like top threshold of what they consider to be in the regular sizing. Um, so when I got the small, tall version of this, it fit beautifully everywhere, except when I went to button the buttons, I guess I have too much, you know, junk in the trunk, too much booty, and I could button them, but it really struggled. It looked bad when I buttoned them. Like it really looked like it was pulling and it wasn't big enough for me. So I thought, okay, let's take it back. Let's exchange it for the medium. I'm sure the size difference isn't going to be that crazy. Y'all, the sizing on this coat is a little weird. This is a medium and I just feel like it fits pretty big. Like the shoulders kind of fall off my shoulder a little bit. I talk a lot in a lot of my videos when I'm talking about blazers, about how a blazer fit should be. And that's very similar to this since this kind of has like the cut of a big blazer, if you will. Um, but what you should know is this seam right here on your shoulder should hit like right at the edge of your shoulder. And for me, I feel like it's kind of like falling off a little bit. So it looks a little slouchy. It's not the end of the world. The oversized look is kind of the thing right now. And I do feel like I don't really have any coats that I can wear that have a lot of room in them for me to wear a bulky sweater underneath. So maybe this is the coat that I can do that with, but I just wanted to let you all be aware of just the sizing. I ordered a small in the first place because of the fact that I read the reviews and a lot of people in the reviews said that this coat runs big, um, which I would say that's true for this medium, but the small ran kind of small. So I do like this coat overall. It's a good medium weight coat. Um, you definitely could layer up under this for like a colder day. I have been looking and looking for a good pair of metallic silver pants and I finally found a pair. Y'all, I am obsessed with the metallic trend. And I feel like metallic silver and gold are both trending, but what I see more of is definitely the metallic silver stuff. I see it 
everywhere. And I'm not usually a person who's into silver. I usually always choose gold, but I've been really leaning into it. And I think throwing metallic silver into any outfit just really amps it up and just gives it a lot more of a punch. Now, are metallic silver pants for everyone? Probably not, but they are so fantastic. And if you like the cut of these, they also come in like a faux black leather and a brown version as well. Like the, the feel of these on is so nice. They have sort of like a lining inside of them that is really soft. The faux leather itself just feels kind of like buttery smooth. Love that they're just a nice straight cut leg. I also am wearing these in the Curve Love version, which is another awesome thing that Abercrombie has been doing that I am such a fan of. They have their Curve Love line. So pretty much any pants that they sell on Abercrombie, they sell like in a regular uh, version. And then they also sell it in a Curve Love version, which I believe it's something about the like waist to hip ratio um, that they tweak a little bit so that if you do have a smaller waist and maybe a little bit more hips and a booty, these are so much more accommodating for that sort of figure. And as a person who has that kind of body, I have been such a fan. I have several different pairs of Abercrombie's Curve Love jeans. They fit so well. So these faux leather pants are incredible. They just feel great on. They have a good amount of like like stretchiness to them, if you will. Like these are just such a fun statement piece. I cannot wait to rock these. Now, the bodysuit that I have on is also a new find from Abercrombie. This is a long sleeved uh, V-neck bodysuit. You can see it's pretty plunging, but it's not like crazy. Some of the reviews said that it was like halfway down their torso. Um, I think it's at a great place for me. Abercrombie's bodysuits are one of my favorite things that they sell. And I'm always like, adding new ones from their like new arrivals when they become available just because they're so comfortable they have a lot of stretch to them they're just such a good wardrobe basic and they have so many different versions with different necklines different sleeves or lack of sleeves and there's a lot of options out there and they're always really really well made this comes in other colors you can get black you can get like a a taupey neutral color wearing bodysuits. I find them to be so incredibly comfortable. I got this in a small. It did feel a little snug when I first put it on, but now that I have it on, I'm glad that I got small. Cause it popped on uh, this blazer, which is one that I got from Abercrombie about a year ago. Um, their suiting section is always so good. I don't think they have this color in particular anymore, but I will link like their current colors that they have in this. Not that the like beautiful, like royal blue with the silver just is such a fun look. Silver and blue play really well together. I've also seen outfits that I love with like silver and hot pink. Um, silver also does really well with other like grays and whites. Um, so if you're thinking that you might like these pants, but you're just confused about how you would actually wear them, um, I would highly recommend just going onto Pinterest and searching like silver pants outfit and you can see so many different outfits that people have already styled and kind of get an idea for the colors that really go well with metallic silver but for my jewish friends uh hanukkah is coming up i feel like this is, would be such a cute hanukkah party outfit not gonna lie okay so i have never been a sweatshirt person before but tell me how i vlogged on to abercrombie and they have about five to seven different sweatshirts that i'm obsessed with and need like I don't know what it is, but whoever is designing the graphics on these is just, they, they just, they get me. Um, this one I got is from their Sunday crew line. And this is the ski destination, uh, sweatshirt. I love it because it has sort of like a vintagey sort of like vibe to it. I love the font. It feels super fancy. I will say when I put this on and walked out, my husband was like, "Ugh, your sweatshirt looks like it was from the nineties. And I was like, yeah, I think that's the point. And he was like, no, nah, I'm good. I heard he lives through the 90s. <laughs> I did too, but I am for all of this cool, like vintagey looking insignia and coming back. The Abercrombie sweatshirts are so soft. Also, I cannot express to you just how incredibly soft this is on. It just feels so good. I literally have not taken this off since I got it. I did get this in a large because I really wanted it to fit like super baggy and oversized. Granted, it's going to probably shrink a little bit when I put it in the dryer and then it'll be a little bit smaller, but still it's got some, definitely some room to shrink a little bit, but still be oversized, which is what I really wanted. This outfit, I felt like um, it's fine if I just left it like over the skirt, but I kind of wanted to show my waist off a little bit and sort of tuck or at least front tuck uh, the sweatshirt into the skirt, which is high waisted to kind of show my waist. Um, but the skirt itself fits pretty snug and um, this is a really bulky sweatshirt. So I grabbed this thing from Amazon. This has been such a cool hack that I have found. It's basically just like a stretchy spandex belt that has no like actual buckle on it, but it fastens very much like your bra would. And literally you just pop this over like a sweater that you want 
tucked in and just pull the sweater out a little bit um, so that it's kind of draped over and voila, you've kind of cropped or tucked a sweater, but you haven't added like bulk into your own like pants or anything. This thing is so genius. You gotta know about it. Link this down in the description box along with like the rest of this outfit. Also have to say something else that's very genius. These leggings that I'm wearing, I know it looks like these are sheer black pantyhose, but y'all, no. These are fleece lined black tights. Like I said earlier in the video, I'm going to Europe in a week. It's pretty chilly over there, chillier than it is here. I wanna be able to wear like some cute little skirts and dresses and not freeze. And I discovered these on Amazon and I am obsessed. They're sort of made to mimic the look of a sheer or semi-sheer black pantyhose on your skin. So it sort of looks like that like sheen of your skin tone coming through the pantyhose, but in fact, they're fleece lined. They're very comfortable, they're stretchy. And if you live somewhere cold, this is another thing that I feel like you really have to know about. So again, I'll link these down in the description box too, because this is just gonna open up so many possibilities in the winter time for different outfits um, when normally I wouldn't wanna wear because I wouldn't want my legs to get cold. So a couple little pieces from Gilly Hicks to throw in here, which is like an Abercrombie related brand. I believe it's like a their, their athleisure brand that's affiliated with Hollister, I wanna say. This puffer, I think this little puffer, again, would make um, a fantastic gift idea as well for really any uh, woman, girl on your list, just because it is cozy. It's not like a super crazy heavyweight puffer that's like gonna protect you from like insanely cold temperatures, but it is really warm. Um, I like that it's pretty cropped. It hits kind of like right um, at the top of my hips, I wanna say, which I think is a nice little uh, place for it to hit. It's very flattering. Um, it has a little, cinchy action on the bottom so you can cinch it in even more if you'd like to kind of give it even more like waist definition and the color of it is really pretty i don't know if it's coming off on the camera but it's kind of a nice like slightly pearlescent white now the thing that's pretty cool about this is the fact that it's convertible so it has a zipper on the sleeve you can zip the sleeves off and this can then become a puffer vest so it's really like two for one, which is great. Anytime I can find something that has good versatility like that, like a two for one situation, um, I am all for it because I already don't have enough room in my closet as it is. It's super cute though. I could see myself uh, possibly wearing this skiing. Um, I think I have a small, wearing this in a size small and I feel like it fits really well. It doesn't feel snug. And I, when I zip it up or fasten it, it does fit nicely. I don't think I could wear like a super incredibly bulky thing underneath it, but for a day skiing when I don't need to like layer up a lot, this would work out really well. And I think it would look really cute with my red ski pants that I have. That is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you still made it this far, you guys are the best. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out in the algorithm. While you're here, you may want to check out my gift guide for 2023. If you're currently Christmas shopping and looking for some more fun gift ideas, I'll put that right here. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed for more fun, affordable fashion travel and lifestyle content. I'll see you guys over here. And if not, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.